Welcome back. Today I'm just going to do a quick video. I have a, uh, a discarded wedding band here that was made um, in India and consists of 24 karat pure gold. So this is soft gold and I was able to easily cut this with a pair of wire cutters. I have some borax. So what I'm going to do is put the gold in this graphite crucible and then I'm going to attempt to melt it in my manually controlled induction heater, which is right here. As you can tell, this induction heater has seen better days. Um, I actually popped a beer cap in this and the beer got all over the coil and corroded the softened copper tubing. So it has seen better times. It has been christened with a bottle of beer. So uh, without further ado, let's begin. I'm hoping not to blow up the variac when I do this because this thing will draw a fairly high currents. The other thing that might happen is my MOSFET drivers might blow up as well. So, but anyway, assuming none of that happens, we're hopefully going to be able to melt some gold today. So there's the gold packed in there with some fire blanket around the crucible. And I put borax in the, with the gold. I've uh, activated the driver circuitry for this manual heater, and I've also turned on the variac. So now we're going to put in a little power. So we have resonance, and we've got some current flying, as you can see there. Crucible's getting nice and hot. Variac's getting nice and loud. Gold is now melting. Now we're going to detune it. As a molten pool liquid 24 karat gold and we'll pop this out you can just barely make out the pool of gold in there you can see that shiny surface from the little puddle of gold and it did in fact melt the fire blanket so once the graphite crucible had cooled, I tapped out the gold and washed it off. And here it is. Looks great. Thanks for watching, YouTubers. 